Hello gamers and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Cody and in today's video I'm going to be covering 7 super advantageous techniques that you can use to counter turtling opponents. We know turtles can be super annoying to fight against, trying over and over again to take someone's wall until you finally take it and then they just expand into another box. But before we get into it, we just want to let you know that some of these tricks are a bit older but all of them still work like a charm and can score you some super easy kills. If you're watching this video, I assume you are trying to get better at Fortnite, is this correct? If this is so, head on down to ProGuides.com where we offer weekly up-to-date courses from pros like Mongrel, Benji, and Kaz, along with meta articles and videos to keep you updated on what's happening in the Fortnite scene. On top of all that, we also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from some of the best players in the game. So if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, sign up for our membership at ProGuides.com. Link is down below. Finally, one last thing before we get into the video, let's do the question of the day. Today's question is, what is your favorite method to counter turtles? Personally, I like to simply phase into someone's box and get shots off that way. But I'm starting to question that strategy since once in a while someone hits me with a trap. Let me know your favorite method in the comments. This trick is a bit on the older side, but boy does it pack a punch. This is easily one of my most used techniques. Basically, this ramp phase trick allows you to simply jump into an opponent's box, receiving a boost from your ramp, which will give you the speed and momentum required to phase through. To do this trick, simply set up a ramp right on top of your head, you can edit it into a half ramp if you'd like as well, and pickaxe the wall to 75 health or less. After that, get a running start, jump into the wall and bump into the ramp. Pickaxe it right as you make contact. The momentum from your short run along with the boost from your ramp will easily let you hop straight through the wall and surprise your opponent. Surprise, dude. From here, whatever you want to do is up to you. One of the most effective strategies is right after you jump into their box, place a ramp above them and edit it backwards for a nice easy shot. You could also get into your opponent's box, place a cone inside so that they are unable to place a ramp above you and shoot them from there. Most of the time, if you do this technique, your opponent will be trying to place a ramp and you'll get a free shot off, if not a free kill. However, just be aware that if you do this in a normal match, there's a good chance that the other players will have traps, so try to avoid getting trap killed. Nobody likes getting trap killed. This next technique is super unique, and we really haven't seen any pros starting to use it yet, so you're in for a treat. I'm sure we've all been in a low material situation where we can't seem to get any angles, but we don't want to waste our few remaining mats. Well, this is a potential solution. Simply set up next to your opponent's box and place a ramp below you. Start editing the ramp, starting on the front right side, go back towards your side, to the left, and then back to the front to form a spiral stair. Before you confirm the edit, make sure you're close to the back and jump as you confirm the edit so you end up on top of the structure. If your result looks like this, you've done the technique correctly. Now, you have a pretty easy right hand peek and it only costs you one build. Bonus points if you have the wall between you as you can adjust it and change to get shots off easier. But regardless, even if the wall isn't yours, you can simply wait for your opponent to edit and get some easy shots off that way. Whichever way you use it, the technique is super unique and definitely worth knowing for those intense low material situations. As the name implies, the Mongrel Classic is a classic. For the past few seasons, it's been the go-to technique when you've taken your opponent's wall and for good reason. This technique is so helpful and easy to perform that there's no reason not to be familiar with it. The Mongrel Classic starts with taking an opponent's wall. Once you've taken your opponent's wall, position yourself somewhere on the left side of the wall. Quickly edit a left arch, basically a square of tiles on the bottom left, confirm the edit and place a ramp in your opponent's box. Edit this ramp from the far left corner to the close left corner. Once you finish this, your opponent will either be on the right side of the ramp and won't be able to shoot you at all, or they'll end up on the ramp. If they end up on the right side, you'll be able to get free shots and maybe even an easy kill. If they end up on the top half of the ramp, then quickly edit the ramp from the right to left side similar to this, and they'll be right in the open. If you position yourself on the left side of their box when doing this, you'll have a pretty nice right hand peek. Another way you can do the Mongrel Classic is with a cone instead of a ramp. To do this, simply perform the Mongrel Classic like normal, but instead of placing a ramp in your opponent's box, place a cone. This will throw your opponent off guard and leave them super vulnerable so you can easily get some shots off. Maybe even jump onto them for an easy kill. Remember that the Mongrel Classic is all about speed. The faster you can pull it off, the more effective it'll be. Hop into a creative island and practice doing it over and over again until you get the motion down. This next peak is a super helpful one that you can use if you're against one of those pesky opponents who sits in their box and just tries to pull edit plays. Position yourself on top of their box and build a floor on one side and a wall to block off their cone. That way, the opponent can't edit up and score a shot on you. From here, edit one corner of your floor close to their box and you'll have a pretty easy jump peak to use and look for shots. 
With this technique, we recommend waiting for them to edit and then going for the jump shot. The great part about this technique is that your opponent really can't counter it, apart from just not editing. Your opponent will only see you for a split second, and they'll only see a tiny part of your body during that time as well. This is what makes the technique so great. You have high ground and you can see most of their body while they're below and can hardly see you, if they can at all. Use this floor peek whenever you're fighting a boring low ground opponent who keeps trying to go for those edit plays. They'll end up editing and getting hit for high damage while they can't even hit you. <laughs> Take that, bro. This next one became extremely popular among the competitive community a few months ago, but we really haven't seen anyone utilize it lately. This technique consists of phasing down onto your opponent while you're inside their box, ending up behind them, and then getting some easy shots. To start, you have to be inside of your opponent's box with a ramp over them. Edit the ramp into a spiral staircase, starting the edit on one corner and going around the whole box similar to this. Next, position yourself on the flat part of the spiral staircase, which your opponent should be under. Quickly reset the edit and you'll end up under your staircase and behind your opponent, who most likely has no clue what you're doing or how to counter it. This technique is a pretty simple one, but can easily confuse most players if you pull it off correctly and fast enough. The edit bait reset is a classic technique that tons of people know, but they still fall for it. This trick takes advantage of people's natural reactions. If you see a window opened and a player in the middle of it, you're obviously gonna shoot the player, right? Any normal person would. This technique takes advantage of that tendency. When you edit and reset a wall fast, it'll have a low HP and be one shotgun shot away from being broken. To do this technique, simply edit a window and reset it as fast as you can. Your opponent will most likely shoot their shotgun and it'll break the wall, giving them a delay before they can shoot or build. During this time, pop them with the shot back. If it's done correctly, this can easily score you 100 or more damage in one shot. If you're on mouse and keyboard, we recommend doing a scroll wheel reset so that you can reset faster. If you're on controller or just don't like scroll wheel resets, head into creative and practice it over again, making an edit and resetting it super fast. This technique is all about speed, so your opponent won't actually hit you through the window that you edit. The last technique on our list is a super underrated ramp peak that you can use when pressuring an opponent's wall. This can even allow you to take their wall without a chance of getting shot back if it is done correctly. To start, build a ramp outside of your turtling opponent's box and edit the left side of the ramp backwards, just like this. Now, instead of standing towards the middle of your box, you actually want to set yourself up away under the ramp, almost all the way in. From this angle, you'll still be able to see part of their wall, which you can shoot with your AR or SMG and try to replace. Your opponent will have to run all the way back into your box to even have a chance to shoot you, and by the time that they get to this point where they can actually hit you, they will be dead. If they don't try and phase into your box, then you'll end up getting their wall and taking control of the fight. It's a win-win situation. We've gone over quite a few techniques in this video, so let's do a quick recap of everything we talked about. First, the ramp phase technique is an easy way to put pressure on a turtling opponent and force them into a fight. However, be careful with it as traps will be your worst enemy when doing this technique. I know that one for sure. Second, the spiral ramp peak is a fast, low material way to get a right hand peak and go for shots on your turtling opponent. Third, the mongrel classic is one of the best techniques to use when you've taken your opponent's wall. Practice it over and over for speed and pull it out when you take your opponent's wall and want to get easy shots. The high ground floor peak is another amazing peak that you can use to get your shots on your opponent from above, while they have almost no way to shoot you back. The inside box spiral staircase is a great way to sneak up behind your opponents once you get in their box, and you can score some super easy shots if you do it fast enough. The edit bait reset is another super fast and easy way to get damage on your opponent by forcing them to break the wall and wait for their shotgun delay before they can shoot at you again. Finally, the right hand half ramp peak is another amazing way to take your opponent's wall and fully cover yourself while doing so. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Next time you're fighting against a pesky turtler, try out some of these tricks and see how you like them. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES in the Fortnite item shot where you can make any sort of purchases as it really helps us out and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see next on the channel. We aim to bring you guys the best daily Fortnite content, so do us a favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and show ProGuides.com some love for bringing you to this video. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's your host, Cody. You can follow me on Instagram at CocoMeddler. Let me know if you cuckoo for the Cocoa Puffs. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Peace!